Hello, my name is Simon and I present Fox to MBT, Building Minecraft Structures in VR. This video is about how I use VR to make Minecraft structures using a voxel editor. To demonstrate this, I will show you how I made these coral structures. So this is a program called VoxVR. I've used this to make my corals in. As you can see, which I want to be exporting to Minecraft later. Uh, what I've done to start off, I've made it some reference image with some colors. So I could set up my palette with the appropriate uh, colors that match to the, well, in-game Minecraft colors. So I know that my colors are correct. And then I can simply select one of those colors and start painting whatever and it has nice features like undo for example i've been making these uh sort of yeah red coral thingies which are lines which allow me to uh yeah the, this tool allows me to place lines quite nicely so i can just angle that differently and i can look at it this in 3D. We can go back in with the manual motion quite easily. Reshape it to suit my specific needs. And as you can see, I can quite easily go in and make very detailed changes. I can make it bigger if I want to to make it myself a bit easier. And this has just been great to work with my, uh, to, to make schematics in, especially if you look over here with these bubble schematics where I was able to just use the blue circle and then I can quite easily create circles. And for the bigger t circles, I can simply increase the size so what I've been doing is I've been placing some circles randomly and then I have another color for the the depth the stone whatever and then the nice thing about this being in VR is that I can make some nice swooping connection that connects it all in a nice spiral as you can see here So now we can save what we just made. We go into this menu and click on the import export button and then we will save it as a Magica voxel file. And we're gonna name it coral.fox. Now I've opened Magica voxel, uh, link in the description. We're gonna open the file. And then we can select our dot fox and open it. And you can see it gets imported. This allows us to make our uh, some final changes. For example, I see that there are some blocks here that I do not like. So I'm going to erase those. I'm going to see if everything looks right. I'm also going to remove my reference tree that I don't need and these reference blocks that I don't need anymore and I'm happy I could probably move some of these around a bit but I can also do that in world edit later To use the Fox to MBT tool, we need to know the different colors of the blocks. Luckily, there's a nice and useful uh, palette that we can use where it shows us the color. The first thing I'm going to do is make a new empty file. And we're going to start by making a config file which we're going to name config dot 
Jason. Yes. We're going to edit that. And in here we're going to set what color corresponds to which Minecraft block. So I'm going to start with this template, which you can find in the description. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over all the blocks. So let's say we wanted to do use the gray thing. I can copy the color and note these little arrows to change it from numbers to uh, to the like the single number without the spaces. You can copy that and then we're going to paste it in the file. And we're going to make sure that the last two letters are still F. Then in here we can change the block idea. Well, in this case, we don't want to have uh, oak logs. But in this case, we want to have the dead horn coral block. And the same goes for the blue. We copy the text, go to our duration file, paste it in, make sure that the last two letters are still F. And in this case, we want to use the tube coral block. And the nice thing about this is that if we wanted to have more structures, we can just use the same config file again. Well, and we do the same for the other block. To add in more blocks, you can just copy one of the lines above and paste it again. Uh, don't copy the bottom one because we need this little comma here. Now that we're done with this, we can save this. And then we can also save uh, this mo Fox model to the same directory. So we can click on export and then we can navigate to the right folder and save it. And now we have both our config and coral.fox in the same folder. Now to convert the .fox file to an mbt file, we use the wonderful program fox to mbt written by Fetchbot. Uh, installing it should be as simple as having npm installed and uh, running the command in the description. I have already done this, so I'll just show you the usage. To use the program, we open a terminal in the current folder. We do that by typing cmd in the top bar. This should open a terminal. And then we can simply type box to nbt. We can give it the current directory. And it will look for every .fox file in this folder. We can give it the config.json click enter and it will load and you can see a mbt file is created to load the file you can use uh, the any way of mbt importing that you know uh, i like to use world painter because it allows me to easily place it uh, the corals underwater I'm going to create a custom object layer. I'm going to load in file. And I can see in here that it actually shows up with the correct shape. I'm going to make sure that it spawns underwater because I will be placing them as corals. And then when drawing it, I'll make sure that I will paint in a single pixel and that should make sure that it spawns in properly. Then I will export this to Minecraft. 
I also like using World Painter because it's able to import really big MBT files. And as you can see, it imported the schematics to Minecraft. And this allows me to create my schematics in VR, which allows me to use those nice tools to make straight lines or spheres in a very short amount of time. And for the final finishing touches, I've copied the structures over to my other world where I added in some details like grass and coral fans. That's really something you want to do in game because while well, the coral fans can be directional and they also don't visualize very well. Uh, also for things with light levels, it might be better to look at them in game. And yeah, you can see that they turned out uh, quite nice.